Hey everyone, today is my first day of orientation for my urban medicine program. I am so excited. Like I said earlier, I woke up at like 5.23 this morning due to my excitement or underestimating my assignment. And I went with the nice business casual-esque look. So I have a nice button up on, but oh, I can't even see no more. But then there's like a pop of color because, you know, gotta let my personality shine through. But yeah, I'm heading out to take the train to UIC. Like so excited. I mean, can't you tell? Look at me. <laughs> there's the awkward laugh again. I, I guess I just, I can't help it. But yes, first day as a medical student. God is good. I really wish I was recording because this man just walked by and said, girl, you so fine every time I see you. I ain't never seen this man today before in my life, y'all. Morning Chronicles. <laughs> okay, this is the medical district. So we got Rush over here. UIC is over here. I think like Malcolm X Community College. There's some more Rush. Um, the United Center where the Bulls play is in this area, as well as like Cook County Hospital. So yeah. Y'all, this is really beginning. Okay, this is me walking up to orientation. I'm like a block away, y'all, but I was thirsty. Look at all that. Look at all that. Yes. What'd you bring say? Yes. <laughs> like, oh, I'm still in awe and amazement. Just like, wow. I've wanted to be a doctor since I was 10. I'm 30. Like 20 years, y'all, in the making. And here we are. Here we go. Let's do this meal. All right, so we got burritos and chips for lunch. Oh, so she's gonna laugh at me. You wanna be on camera? <laughs> there you is. How's lunch going for you? So, uh, you didn't even dig in? I'm excited. I'm thrilled. This is like, really looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> first day is in the books y'all and I can say I'm tired I have not had to sit and being an active listener in months so but now that I'm out I don't think I'm that tired anymore I think I'm gonna go home change clothes and go to the beach and do this required reading for tomorrow but day one was good it was great meeting my classmates I'm already seeing who I'm a vibe and connect with but it's a small cohort of 18 people for the urban medicine program and they're all brilliant they're all just wonderful and are on this fight for social justice and dismantling these systems that systems of oppression so yeah we'll be back tomorrow bright and early 9 a.m here's my attire for day two i went a little bit more casual because people were casual there but yeah on the way to the train looking at the curriculum on the walls for this will be all four years y'all like wait day two we got some little uh, chicken what they say and mozzarella artopita pasta salad chocolate chip cookie Yum, hopefully I'm not gonna eat all of it because yesterday I was sleepy. New lunch friend say hey Hannah. We got a returnee over here. <laughs> all right, y'all. We got lunch early today. What's it? It's like eleven fifty. I don't know who gonna lunch before noon, but that's what we did and we're gonna be back up in there from twelve thirty to three thirty. Yesterday after lunch was a little bit difficult for the group because we had burritos. Needless to say, I learned my lesson. I'm not eating all this 
all these carbs. But, <laughs> right, because Darius was the one who got caught <laughs> snoozing yesterday. <laughs> we all turned around and see my man's like nodding, but it's cool because towards some point, my head went all the way back and hit the chair. Today is a new day. We're, we're making new strides. These will not repeat themselves, okay? of day two email orientation <laughs> had to get permission to get them on camera y'all i can't be um violating people's rights but we have a social at five o'clock tired need a nap y'all need a nap yeah. um information overload but it was good i think we got a good cohort so yeah there's that day two in the books we're out First little seminar we did, um, patient interactions, learned about some like logistics with um, some officials, got spoke to by the Dean of Admissions, black man, Dean Thompson, whoop whoop. Um, yeah, so now I want a brief break and then we're gonna go back. I don't even know what we're about to do, but then we're gonna have lunch and I need that because I need to walk around. It's trying to be rainy and stuff out here, but yeah, day one, we are in this thing. <laughs> now I might have audio because look at them. They trying to, <laughs> they trying to prep and get it together. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus, look at AJ, y'all. Let me zoom in on AJ. Look at look at AJ. <laughs> we love it. Well, this is lunch, y'all, and they didn't like it. They said it was weird, and <laughs> they couldn't identify the food that was inside of the little bread. <laughs> It just said it was pureed chicken, and I, meanwhile, ate all of mine. <laughs> I was like yum yum in my tummy. It was a prop pie. But yeah, we're gonna get our white coats today. We're gonna take our white coat photos. We get our IDs and our U passes. Look at the Lord, but now I'm tired, so there's that. This is real. Got the book. We got the white coat. Okay. Where's the patch? Hey, patch over here. It's a big moment. Yes. I don't know. she wants y'all to personally know her yes that's her she been you know yeah uh-huh so I'm at the social at the end of the day's orientation day one we tired but you know they giving us some like little hors d'oeuvres and some yeah. spirits so we're like getting to know each other it's been great day one we about to be out though and heading into day okay so <laughs> day one is over I need to do a on bagging because they gave us lots of things in this bag but we had a very nice social i really like my classmates y'all like finding my tribe y'all it's freaking raining i was call myself leaving before it freaking started raining but here i am yet in the rain but here we are i'll be home in about 20 minutes though so it's like whatever but yeah so this is the day i really enjoyed myself so happy i came to the social yeah
which they too, this is the last day they're feeding us. This is, I think, a chicken barbecue sandwich. Wow, this is a lot, y'all, sorry. All right, we're gonna see, because I look a little dry. I don't really eat white bread. Um, new friend, look how eating over there. That's Rosa. And they didn't have room for me. We got kicked out, but it's okay. We exclusive over here. Scavenger hunt. Learning the community of Pilsen. Since we're in such um, close proximity, first stop is uh, Pilsen Food Pantry. And we're about to get a tour of the inside. Day three, I stopped caring about a tire. It was 90 degrees yesterday, and it's gonna be 90 degrees again today. I need to be cool and not have a freaking heat stroke. So here we are. They have socially distant squares in here. Students do not obey them. All right, it's mad bright out here. I didn't record much today. They had us in sessions from like, 9 to 12 30 with a 1 15 minute break and then again we went on lunch from 12 30 to 2 and we walked to like some um, mexican restaurant that i had during orientation last week and then um we went sessions from 2 to it's just now 4 35 so i'm going home i took like a six minute nap during the sessions because your girl was tired but yeah orientation one more day and then Friday, we get the white coat, ain't no. This is day three of orientation. I'm extremely tired. We got these bags, these goodie bags on the first day, but our days have been so long, like literally a nine to five. And by nine to five, I mean like nine to five, 15, nine to five, 30. Today, we got out at 4.30, which is a little bit better, but they didn't feed us, so I had to pack a lunch, so I'm like running on fumes. But I want to show y'all what they gave us in our bag. Um, we got this nice little lunch bag. Um, it's insulated so you can keep your food cold or whatever throughout the day. I got my house t-shirt. So they are like four houses, kind of like on some Harry Potter type stuff. And you have your house name on the back. And at the end of the school year, there's a cup. So we'll be doing different things throughout the year to get points, to see whose house is gonna win. Created some good little competition. It looks like this is a mask, and I was told today we're gonna wear these at the white coat ceremony so we can be uniform, taking pictures. Um, this one of those things you put on the back of your phone to keep all your cards in. I've been seeing students do this already. I'm from Chicago, and I know that this is an easy way to get robbed. So this will just be sitting in this bag for forever. Um, orientation papers, clearly I ain't looked at this since the first day. It's a little scruffled. Let's see, we have a water bottle, University of Illinois College of Medicine, so that's cute. Um, at the activities fair, maybe it was Monday. Honestly, all the days are blending in, but I think it was Monday. This is an SNMA water bottle. I paid my dues to join the UICOM chapter for SNMA, got a water bottle. We got some little sunglasses. Um, what is this, a magnet? Oh, for wellness resources, that's cool. So I'm gonna put this on my refrigerator. Scan it to get, you know, my mental health right. Um, Let's see what's in here. Okay, hand sanitizer because hashtag COVID coronavirus still in a penny. Need that, gotta keep ourselves clean. Um, This is a digital thermometer, no need to take it out. But yeah, if they said that in the past, if you're feeling sick, still come to class and now it's like, oh girl, you would be excused because we're not trying to get everybody sick. And then the last thing in my bag, honestly, I don't know what this is. It says, hmm, 
something about a charger, a charging station maybe, has UICOM on it. So we'll see, you know, we'll get in tune with that. Um, but yeah, so this was the unboxing. I did not do much recording today at all to recap the day. I was very tired. I slept for six and a half hours last night. So like, honestly, I came home, just got home like five minutes ago, doing laundry, about to eat dinner. I plan to sleep by 9 p.m. But the highlight of today was we worked in our TBLs, our team-based learning groups. And it's a group of seven in my group. And I think we're together either for just the fall semester or the whole year. Honestly, y'all, I'm a little bit overwhelmed with orientation week. So we gonna see how the first week is gonna go because this isn't even like the real material. This is all logistics. It's a lot for me. Um, but we're just working in groups and like going through cases. You do your individual assessment first and then you do the exact same assessment again in a team, you discuss it. So basically it's like group learning, working collaboratively because in the healthcare field it's interprofessionalism. You're going to be working with nurses, LPNs, um, nurse practitioners, med techs, all the things. So we need to like be able to vocalize our opinions and defend our answer. But also, if you're wrong, be open to learning from someone else. So that's really all I got for y'all today. Tomorrow's the last day of orientation. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. But I have a doctor's appointment so that I can be compliant to actually start classes on Monday. So I'm going to get there, you know, when I get there. But not for real. I emailed the listserv to let them know I had a doctor's appointment. So I'm hoping I'll probably get there around like 9.30. But our day is over at 12. But for the urban medicine program, we're discussing medical apartheid from 1 to 2.30. So, that was a lot. I'm gonna let y'all sit on that. See you tomorrow. And yeah, I will definitely be this casual tomorrow because it was a lot more comfortable than being in a cute little dress. But I do have to wash my hair tonight and get ready for white coat. So, here come all the priming and propping. But yes, that's where we're at. Okay, so brief update, I am about an hour and a half late to orientation to school though because I needed to be compliant and like finish something on Castle Branch or whatever. But the thing that I wanted to tell y'all was that um, my doctor was black and he was basically, basically giving me special privileges and saying like, hit me up on my chart if you need anything like mentally related or like the stigma or the struggle of medical school because I don't want you to make the same mistakes as, you, as I did. And he was just so happy and heart felt warming. And it like, I got choked up when he kept saying like, he's proud of me. Like this man doesn't know me from here to Timbuktu, but he's proud of me because I am a black woman accepted to medical school. I'm gonna let y'all sit on that because now I'm about to walk into orientation. Freaking kidding me. First week of orientation done. Thanks Penny. Cause look at them. They don't want to cooperate y'all. Exactly, we made it week one in the books. Okay, which way are we going? This way, that way. Okay, okay, we made it week one, right? We got some little pop sockets with some nice messages from different doctors. That's cute, and yeah, I got you, man. Book review, medical apartheid from one to two thirty. But I don't know where we're going right now. I am so confused. Okay, bye. <laughs> But yeah, we in the wraps and the big day is tomorrow. We get our white cup. Okay, I keep getting this like reflection in my glasses. Is this better? Um, oh, my front camera. Okay, I'm not too sure that did anything, but um, I didn't really go through and talk about highlights of each day of orientation. Day one highlight was getting my white coat in my first day book. Love that, love that, love that. Like first step to being a student doctor. Day two, was having two black doctors come and speaking to us and talking about all of the resources that UIC has to offer, but prioritizing yourself first. Dean Elam said, you are a student first and amazing second. Jump into doing all the work after you solidify a plan to be successful. Dr. Watson came in and talked about all the resources and the clinics that they're, the new clinic they're about to build in Auburn Gresham, which is amazing. Um, clinic resources, a food garden, legal office services from the John Marshall Law Students. Day three, recap. Honestly, by then I was really tired, but we did team-based learning. 
which was amazing just working in a team with the people I'm gonna be with for the next year and discussing case-based situations, going through question by question and just hearing everyone's point of view um, and having a, a malleable mind so you're not so stuck in your way so you can be persuaded one way or the other. Day four, we did some more TBL and I worked back with UMID and we discussed medical apartheid and what it's like being a minority student on campus. Um, so all in all, I loved orientation and by love, I mean <laughs> love that it's over because it was super exhausting being around so many people who haven't done this in a year and a half. But again, as I've been telling myself all week, I am happy to be here. I'm grateful to be here. And tomorrow we about to get coded, baby. So I've been sitting on this couch for maybe like an hour doing nothing, just being on my computer, being on social media. But I need to actually start getting life together. So yeah, see y'all in the morning.